Greetings, interwebs. Ly Psycho here on the 1st of February 2016. It's a little before 3 in the morning where I live. That's fun. Anyway, in a handful of hours, ballots across the states of Iowa and New Hampshire will open, and the caucus goers of those states, both Democratic and Grand Old Party, will cast their votes for the nominees for their respective parties. I haven't actually ever voted in a caucus, so that's fun. Not going to lie, it's not that I don't see the importance of voting, it's just I don't really adhere to either party lines all that specifically. I'm more of a progressive, but, you know, the Democrats are mostly corporatists. A lot of them still get fucking paid and fucking get money to be elected from the same sources as Republicans, so, I mean, there's that. Anyway, Iowa and New Hampshire gets to take a selection today and show what the actual voters of fucking those states think in regards to the political candidates. Will they in fucking mass on the GOP side endorse Trump? Or will they vote for Cruz or Carson or Bush, the Rubio? There are too many candidates on that side. And the Democratic voters, will they vote for Hillary Clinton's message of, well, we have to do very small change at a very small scale, or will they cling on to a message of, no, fuck this shit, we're breaking up the monopolies, the banks don't fucking own everything, big money isn't going to control everything anymore. We're going to have actual fucking change. Like, which, which will they choose? I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I don't even care, care about the GOP. I'm not voting for anyone in the GOP come November. There are ten things I would rather be doing than voting for a Republican. And none of them involve voting for Hillary Clinton. So, the fact of the matter is... The Democratic Iowa and New Hampshire caucus goers get to choose today which way the country is going to go. If they choose Hillary Clinton, I get to look forward to a sweeping sentiment across the states that denounce and decry, oh, the popularity Bernie Sanders has gotten to actually break up Wall Street is just a fad. People don't show up and vote. And if fucking he does catch fire, then fucking then he starts to really get attacked as a socialist because they're like, oh god, we have to paint him as the fucking boogeyman now. So I'm looking forward to that either way. Fucking Bernie Sanders is obviously my guy. Hillary Clinton, one, one issue settles it for me. Like, the campaign finance issue, obviously, I'm more with Bernie than Hillary Clinton, but... I'm a rationalist. I'll vote for Hillary Clinton over a fucking Republican when it comes to fucking those other issues. Like, the deciding factor for me is one vote that sent me and countless of my brothers and sisters to Iraq because the president wanted to. And we were used in order to make some people in some corporations a whole fuck ton of, ton of money. So, our lives were pretty much used to fuel the military-industrial complex, which I disagree with, and Hillary Clinton voted for that war, which didn't have any evidence, like, supporting it other than what the Bush administration themselves was releasing. They weren't being corroborated by other sources, saying, yeah, these guys are totally legit, their information is cool. And then there are some sources that say that they knew the information they had was bullshit, but, you know, that's in hindsight. She voted for the war. She reacted to stimuli based on fear. She had a fear reaction with all the fucking shit that was going on at the time. I don't blame her for being human. We all get scared. Voting for that war was a vote out of fear if you disagree with war. Bernie Sanders saw the same fucking evidence, same war, voted against it. He did not give in to the fucking fear propaganda. And given this country has been run constantly on fear fucking porn for the last... Shit. 
since I started paying attention to fucking the news even remotely after fucking, well, high school, but in fairness, that's because I joined the army, so I started paying attention to the news when I joined the army. Maybe not the best idea, but whatever, it happens. Anyway, so I envy the people of Iowa and New Hampshire because their vote today will be used as fuel for whoever they vote for or whoever they vote against. Like, they will cling on to it, and that's the problem with that because how is it fucking people in the other caucus states, are they still going to be, because they're going to be influenced by these polls. But that goes into a different issue of how fucked up the entire primary system is. I mean, if you're going to have a primary where you select your nominee, you should do it all in one day and all over the country. But that's not logistically feasible, so we've got the shit we have. And money is a main fucking factor. Anyway, so I will probably be making another video later on today or tomorrow morning at around 2 o'clock in the morning. Whatever. And by then, I will know how the people of New Hampshire and Iowa have voted. And I will be happy one way or another because it just means the quasi-democratic process that is the primary system is in motion, leading us closer and closer to the only vote that actually matters, the one that the money made long ago. No, I'm kidding. The one in November. Bernie Sanders has shown that fucking you can beat money if enough people fucking contribute. Anyway, you have a good morning, intrawebs. I hope you keep up to date on what's going on in the caucus, and if not, I'll rant about it later. Lie Psycho saying bye bye